evening. Hello. Welcome to what is technically episode five, but uh, we're saying it's episode four because of our, uh, our amazing, amazing costumed sci-fi and fantasy uh, special that we did last week. Also, it's the 4th of May, so May the 4th be with you, all of you, wherever you are at the moment, in your home, in your home. Um, thank you for joining us. Welcome to another Netflix DVD extras. We're going to use your film suggestions, your titles of films, your character suggestions, and of course some locations um, to create some improvised madness for you on a Monday evening. And we'll be here every Monday until this is all over, bringing you a little bit of joy, a little bit of light into your uh, the beginning of your week. Um, so thank you if you're coming back and joining us again. And thank you if you've never watched before and you're joining us for the first time. Get your suggestions into the comments. And while you're st starting to do that, I'll bring on the rest of the gang. Um, I was going to say, who have we got? But you know who we've got. It's the regular crew. Um, we've got the person that's played my lover more times than I care to mention. That's right. It's Ailish Duff. There she is. Um, and where is she really from? You'll never know. Which Ashley, Ashley Groves McEwen. Oh my goodness. Great. Thank you, Chewbacca. Where's Ashling? <laughs> ah, there she is. Um, we've got the next, the next member of the gang has the physical plasticine quality of plasticine it's claire <laughs> buckingham there she is <laughs> um and uh the, the the next person has the biggest eyes known to humankind it's emma reed <laughs> and um the next and final member of the gang is uh the woman that first forced us all to dance and pretend to be dodgeballs when we did Dodgeball, uh, which is one of my most favourite memories from Edinburgh. It's Holly Mallet! <laughs> <laughs> oh, and, and me, of course. Uh, EJK, hello. Welcome, if you've just joined us. Welcome. You are watching Netflix DVD Extras. Hello, Owen. Hello, Jenny. Hello, Dan. Hello, Marcelo. Hello, Philippa. Hello, Chris. Hello, everyone that's watching. Thank you so much. Get your suggestions into the comments so we can create some stuff from those suggestions. We're gonna need movie titles, we're gonna need film characters, and of course, locations. The more boring the location, the better. Um, so let's start, should we start with start with a little bit of wrapping, shall we? A little bit of wrapping. Um, and I think, let's start with, oh, let's get it out of the way now. Marcelo su suggested Star Wars, literally everything to do with Star Wars. So let's start with Star Wars, shall we? Yeah, here we go. Yeah. You froze for a minute there, but I'm going to assume all that was is we're going to rap about Star Wars. Yeah. I'm like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm going to rap on this up on the Death Star. Going to rap on this. Going to look real far. Going to rap on this. I'm daughter of Palpatine. I'm going to rap on this. And I'm feeling obscene. I'm going to rap on this on a TIE fighter. Gonna rap on this. Oh, I'm a rhymer. Gonna rap on this. I'm on Tatooine. Gonna rap on this. Yeah, it's truly obscene. Gonna rap on this. Saving the universe. Gonna rap on this. Things couldn't be worse. Gonna rap on this than when the evils take flight. Gonna rap on this and stay up all night. Gonna rap on this on the Millennium Falcon. Gonna rap on this. Oh, we can go beyond. Gonna rap on this. Gonna drink milk that's blue. Gonna rap on this, and so are you. Gonna rap on this, R two D two. Gonna rap on this. I'm sorry, C three P. Ooh, gonna rap on this. Look, there's an app tap. Gonna rap on this, yeah, and taking it back. Gonna rap on this, hopping from planet to planet. Gonna rap on this, and I'm. Oh, is that Thanet? Gonna rap on this, me Sir Jar Jar Binks. Gonna rap on this. It's not what you think. Gonna rap on this because I'm Lord Vader. Gonna rap on this, I'm a stormtrooper slayer. Gonna rap on this, yeah, I got two burns. Gonna rap on this, and they're really fun. Gonna rap on this, I'm a Jedi. Gonna rap on this, I'm a Jedi too. Gonna rap on this, I got my lightsaber. Gonna rap on this, I'm gonna save her. Gonna rap on this, my name is Kylo Ren. Gonna rap on this, oh, this guy again. Ugh, always there. Always, that guy, always, ugh. 
Uh, just can't get, can't get rid of them. Thank you for that suggestion, Marcelo. I say one suggestion. There was a lot of Star Wars suggestions, and I hope you feel like we've um, covered it now. Um, the next film I think we should rap about is The Goonies. I think Jenny suggested that. Yeah, she says, yeah, Jenny Rich, thank you so much for suggesting the Goonies. Everybody ready? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Gonna rap on this because I've actually not seen it. Gonna rap on this. I think you might dream of gonna rap on this. We're on a pirate ship. Gonna rap on this and we're gonna do it quick. Gonna rap on this, baby Ruth. Gonna rap on this. Is that you? Gonna rap on this. Hey, you guys! Gonna rap on this and I'm just eating pies. Gonna rap on this, cause this film's a classic. Gonna rap on this, oh yeah, you better not miss it. Gonna rap on this, I'm with all my pals. Gonna rap on this, oh, all them pals. Gonna rap on this, we're having so much fun. Gonna rap on this, I'm the chosen one. Gonna rap on this, yeah, I'm Andre the Giant. Gonna rap on this and I'm feeling compliant. Gonna rap on this doing the truffle shuffle. Gonna rap on this now I'm eating a truffle. Gonna rap on this we're on an adventure. Gonna rap on this yeah and did I mention gonna rap on this I just love my friends. Gonna rap on this I'm gonna whip them to the end. Gonna rap on this we're gonna win this day. Gonna rap on this and we'll do it our way. Gonna rap on this because we're from the 80s. Gonna rap on this, yeah. Don't hate me, gonna rap on this, yeah. We found a map. Gonna rap on this, oh, and look at this hat. Gonna rap on this, he's wearing braces. Gonna rap on this, there ain't no traces. Gonna rap on this because we're hiding our past. Gonna rap on this, yeah, I hope this film lasts. Gonna rap on this, cause we're on a mission. Gonna rap on this, and the mission is gonna be great. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much for that suggestion, Jenny. As you can tell, we know a lot about the Goonies. So many references that I recognised but never knew what they were from. All those things from the Goonies. Shit, I need to see this film, guys. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. Um, I love on Yeah, I never knew that. Whoa. Uh, amazing. Thank you so much for that suggestion, Jenny. Um, now, I think it's time we need some film characters and some locations we've got some great locations let's see if we've got any film characters oh oh erin brockovich oh yes erin brockovich that's marcello as well oh you're just so keen marcello um and um oh um a tree house that's the location a tree house from philippa also known as my mum um so show your hands if you want to play, you play with me? great Claire and Emma, fab. Mom, do you like what I've done with the place? I, I, I put all my, my crayon drawings there. I put all my little dolls here and, and I put all my, my little doodles over here. I tried to make it so nice. Do you like it? Do you know who told you to play with dolls? The patriarchy, that's who. I want you to take those dolls, Matilda, and I want you to chuck them out the window, screaming to hell with anyone who ever told me what to do. But, but, but this is, is Cindy Lou, and she says things like, mass is tough, and don't ask me, I'm just a girl. <laughs> Matilda. I want you to take that doll. I want you to grab her by the hair and I want you to slap her around the face and say, I will not be told what I am good and bad at based on what is in my pants. But it feels wrong to slap Cindy Lou. She's got such a pinched face and her, her hair is so pretty. I just want to brush it all day. Do you know who told you the most important thing about a female is the quality of her hair? The patriarchy. The patriarchy. <laughs> yeah, now I'm finally getting through to you, Matilda. You know what those crayons are that you got lined up in a row? The racism and the patriarchy? Yes, they are racist, 
phalluses. And I want you to take those crayons and I want you to throw them right out the window and say, <laughs> I will not be told that just because I do not have a penis that I am not worthy. Because I tell you what, Matilda, you are the most worthy of all. I am the most worthy of all. Yes, Mo, I understand what you say, but can I be worthy and still keep all my toys? Because really, I've spent a lot of time making this treehouse really neat. Oh, <laughs> you think that being neat is what's going to get you by in this world? <laughs> what's going to get you by in this world is being a tough mother flipper. Say it with me. I'm a tough. I'm Mother. Mother. Flipper. Flipper. That's right you are. And I want you every morning when you wake up to look at that little pink toothbrush that the man who said that he was your daddy gave to you. And I want Not you the to the toothbrush. Say, it keeps my teeth so clean and it's so nice and fuchsia. Fuchsia. Fuchsia rhymes with futile. And that is exactly what our future will be if you don't reject everything that a man has ever given you. Okay, goodbye clean teeth. Goodbye coloring in many colors. Goodbye dolls. They were my only friends. <laughs> you got me now. I'm gonna be your only friend forever. And we're gonna sit in this tree house and we're gonna shout at all the people who try to keep us down and keep us in a box. We will not be suppressed. Sounds fun, Mum. I will not be told what I'm good or bad at based on what's in my pants. Now that is a lesson for life. Like I'm not I even joking. That. I stand by that. I think that's a, it's a perfect also, lesson for life. Crayons are racist fallacies. <laughs> you tell why is it So great. You're not wrong. Um, next, next one, I, I think let's go with Doc Brown from Back to the Future. And um, who was that? Who suggested that? Um, Hayley. Thank you, Hayley. Um, and uh, the location is in life drawing class. Thank you so much for that suggestion, Dan. Um, who would like to play? Great. Look. Look at all them. Keep very, keep very, very still. You see, do you see what's, do you see what's happening here? While, every, while everyone, while everyone's drawing you, while everyone's drawing you, Marty, they are learning about themselves. We're, look, we're looking at you, we're looking at your naked body. It's okay, it's nothing to be ashamed of. We all look like that. Well, not exactly like that. Your, your thing is a, a little, little bit weird, but, but you know what? Everyone here is learning from you. I wasn't yeah. self-conscious until you said that. What's wrong with my thing? No, 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 there's nothing there's wrong with it. I'm just saying, you know, everyone's is a little bit different. I'm just saying that yours, you know, it, it points a little to the left. And 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 and, and, and while, while we're on the subject, Marty, your uh, your your nipples are, uh, they're at different heights, buddy. It's a bit weird. But you know what? Don't worry about any of that stuff because everybody's got their own stuff. And what we're doing is we're learning about our own insecurities by looking at yours. Doc? Well done. Yeah? Doc, I'm not yeah. going to lie. I think you're taking out your own insecurities on me because look at me, I'm friggin' gorgeous. Taking out my my take my my, my, my own insecurities on, on oh, oh, wow, I didn't I hadn't even thought about it like that. You you really mean to tell me that it, it doesn't bother you at all that your uh, your nipples are at totally different heights. You're totally fine with that. Stop <sighs> that you love that my nipples are a different height. What I have learned whilst traveling through time and space yeah. is that being different is cool. Oh, you know what? I've done even more travel time traveling than you have, but I never thought of it like that, that being different is cool. Take a look at me. I've got an extra toe. And I thought, hey, I'm a weirdo. And then I realized I can just walk really, really fast to places that I need to get to. See, you think, you think? I've, I've, got, a, I've got a nubbin, I've got a third nipple. And you know what that means? It means I'm more easily stimulated and that's great for everyone. Oh, Johnny, Johnny, I wish I had a nubbin because a nubbin is, ain't nothing wrong with a nubbin. And, and you know what I got? I got an extra sensitive elbow. So whenever I brush up against someone, I can instantly tell what they're feeling on the inside. Come here, come here. Do it to me. Ah. Do it. 
This is you're this feeling is like a bad ass because yeah. that's so cool. Look at me. I completely misconstrued what a point of a life drawing class was, and I just came covered in paper. You know what, guys? You, buddy. you know what, Doc? Life drawing isn't just about looking at a beautiful naked man. Life drawing, you're right, Doc. It's about learning about yourself and being proud of who you are. Now, Doc, you, you have traveled further than any of us can fathom. And yet, I see in those eyes, I see some doubt that any woman could ever love you. I was at that cowboy period. You need to love yourself because if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love someone else? Can I get an amen up in here? Amen. 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 Now, and it doesn't matter that you've got crazy looking hair and big old buggy eyes. You know, you've got to learn to embrace the real inside of yourself. So take it off, Doc. This isn't just your clothes. This is all your inhibitions. And I know you didn't have a hell of a lot of inhibitions to begin with, but you who have been in the past, the present and the future need to learn to rip it all off and let off. your flag fly. I'm gonna tear it all off. Here we go, great Scott. <sighs> You're right. I think I've learned more from this one class that I have in all my years of time traveling. And that is what art can do. Now, Doc. My elbow says that you feel like you have grown as a person here today. And that's a beautiful thing. My toe says that you have got rid of all your insecurities. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was touching my nubbin. And now, I just want you to write all over me. Now, Doc, let's get in that car. Do that thing we do with that flux capacitor. Go back throughout history to where everybody had to wear clothes all the time. And let's liberate each decade one by friggin' one. <laughs> we might be going back through time, but what we're really doing we're going back to ourselves. Yay! <laughs> that was amazing. That was hilarious. Oh, my camera's not working. Good. Oh, no. <laughs> I tried to turn it, turn it off, and just froze. Going. Good. <laughs> um, amazing. Let's do one more, shall we? Um, one more. Um, someone suggested Shakespeare from um, Shakespeare in Love. Um, oh. And what about, oh, um, at a yoga class. Ooh. Oh, have I not? I've not played yet, have I? Ah, there we go. Perfect. Let me compare your downward dog to a summer's day. Uh, right, right, Will. Um, which particular part of the downward dog are you comparing to the sun? Because I don't know whether to be offended or not. Whenever your sweet little bottom uh, right, that rises, good. it is like the sun rising. I feel everything rising within me. Oh, that's one of those metaphors again, isn't it? Well, slightly a metaphor, slightly literal. Oh, those eyebrows. You know, sometimes I just prefer it when your words are on paper rather than when you're here beside me in, in, in my yoga class. It's just, I really feel the juices are flowing. I mean, your yoga classes are so inspirational. Oh. Thank you. Um, well, I'm just, you know, just doing my job, I suppose. Oh, no. It is more than a job. That is like saying a rose by any other name is 
not a rose or something like that. See, I can. I think you should work on that one. I'd work on that one if I, I would you. work on that one, and maybe eventually I could put it in a sonnet. Yeah. So after much thinking over, but yeah. the thing is, you're saying you're just a yoga teacher. There's no just. I mean, I look at you and I think, what light breaks through yonder well-placed window in this yoga class? You see, yes. to stretch or not to stretch, that was the question I asked myself this morning. I woke up, I was feeling a bit achy, and honestly, I wasn't sure I wanted to come to this today. And now I feel like a new woman, whether it is nobler in the mind to stretch the body as well. And I said, is this just an arm stretch I see before me? No, it's a way of life. And I feel beautiful. The further I push myself, down I go, down I go. Yoga teacher, oh yoga teacher, wherefore art thou yoga teacher? Uh, I'm right here, Denise. <laughs> I can see you and it fills my heart with joy because you don't just tell us how best to chaturanga. You show us how to live a peaceful, pure life. So and before I came to these classes, I was saying double, double toil and trouble every time I tried to touch my toes. But now poetry and yoga have brought me inner peace. I mean, yoga. Yes. Yoga. Yes. You see. I might have a quill, but what is a quill when it is not full of ink? And I think you are really making a lot of ink come into my quill these days. Oh, oh no. There's so much ink, I can almost feel my ink overfloweth. Do you mind touching my quill for a moment? I don't know that I should. I really <laughs> don't think I should. No, no. Please be. Let me be your paper, right all over me. They might see, say that I'm the word man. Some people in this moment might think, why on earth do they say that? The word man. The word After man. all, yoga is all about flexibility and poetry is about flexibility of the mind. Oh my goodness. Yes. That's the first thing that's made sense to me in this conversation, and I'm so pleased you're here. Well, it's so good that you're finally understanding. You see, as a yoga teacher, you've taught us to be flexible, and now it is time for you to reach out your high planked hands and touch the very people who believe in your poetry and touch. what it makes them feel. Touch me, touch me. I will lay myself here like a bit of parchment right all over me, Barbara. Oh, goodness, this feels, this, this, this feels a little bit, perhaps I, I shouldn't be doing this because I'm the teacher, but... Um... There are no rules. There are no rules. Write your life without rules. It is a blank page to be written on, and sometimes you shouldn't write in between the lines. I mean, I'm pretty sure that parchment doesn't even have lines. It right. does not. But that doesn't matter. I'm so sorry. I'm so overwhelmed. I finally realised what this is all about. <laughs> tell us. Tell us what you finally realised. It's so important that you do. Um, that my whole life is stretching before me like not only cobra but also a blank piece of paper and I need to use the tools I have to create upon that blank piece of paper once more into the breach dear friends once more <gasps> yeah, that's I not bad. understood that's not bad I might write that down really quickly and <clears throat> sorry <clears throat> Yes. Edit. <laughs> How many yoga stretches can I do? <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Oh, I did. Does that happen? <laughs> um, <laughs> I love that. That was that was hilarious. Okay, um, let's do let's do some more wrapping with Claire's bop, shall we? Um, oh. So we are needing some more film suggestions. So if you haven't suggested anything already, why not sling something into the comments now? Um, what else have we got? Um, ooh, cabaret. Somebody suggested cabaret. Yes, Claire, go for it. And while we're waiting for her to get her bop up, please keep putting your film suggestions in the, in the comments. Go for it. What use is sitting at home when you could be here? Don't be alone, even though you feel like you might alter. It's come to a time at the slaughter. That's what I call my night. And today I'm feeling all right. Check me out with my bowler hat. I'm coming for you just like that. Oh, I want you to have a hug here at the Kitty Cat Club. Come and join me, touch your knees, do it right do it for me and if you're feeling fine we'll have a glass of wine and you are so on fire like me eliza that was spectacular i'm sorry if i got distracted um i was watching r2d2 dancing um which was really glorious as well singing he's it. a cabaret fan definitely he's a big cabaret fan it big cabaret fan um <laughs> jurassic park yes Ailish, go for oh, it here we go jurassic park right let me get get my bop here we go okay yeah mm -hmm. jurassic park what a classic I don't want to put you in the dark, but they got dinosaurs in this park. They rise them up right from an egg. And then suddenly they really had to beg because it turns out dinosaurs like to eat you. And they like to eat me too. And when they go and go on the rampage, there's nothing you can do and nothing you can say. So you gotta go and save the day. You gotta go and find your own way through. Find your way through all those woods. Yeah, do it just like you should but it's all right at the end it's all okay because the message of this film is that life finds a way yes. and that that's so great um cats shall i oh i mean i will shall i do you want oh, to yeah, go on because you uh, you wrote that amazing review <laughs> i love cats it was mad okay here we go The greatest film of this year. I go to the cinema, what is that? It's a film about, about cats. Give me a toffee, please. My favorite character's Mr. Mustopheles. He's a magician. He disappears and he can allay your fears. The one I don't want to chance it. She is a ballet dancer. She's my favourite character and I, I want to uh, be her. And uh, this one's a bore. Why is it James Corden? Why is he there? I don't care with his stupid flipping hair. They wear hats and they wear clothes. Not all of them though. Why do you suppose that is? What are they doing with this? Why is it a piece of piss? They're dancing here, they're dancing there, they're doing whatever they dare. They're twirling around, they're doing these things. Sometimes it feels like they have wings. Now this character, she's a bit hench. It's played by Judy Dench. She goes up into the sky and that is why this was my favorite film this year. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! In that I'm so album. sorry that you all just witnessed that. I mean, I, I feel like I don't just see it now, or maybe I, I do. See it now. <laughs> um, right. Oh, I'm hot now. That was so <laughs> hot. I'm fire. I feel like 
I was exercising mm-hmm. something then. Um, the ex. Speaking of the Exorcist, has been suggested. I know. Gone holes. I haven't seen it. That's why it will be funny. <laughs> Let me find my little bop. Okay. Let's see how well pop culture's trained me. If you walk down this street, take one to the left, you might find a priest. He's on his way to a home, but he should not be alone. Oh no, this cannot be missed. She might be possessed. She needs an exorcist. Oh no, this will be no breeze. Her head just went 360 degrees. Oh, this will not end well because your mother sucks cocks in hell. Yes! I can't believe you said the line! Sorry. Is that actually a line from the film? I thought Holly had just gone rogue. <laughs> Let me do that in RuPaul's Drag Race. Now I understand the reference. I tried, to, I tried to figure out a way whilst improvising to censor it. <laughs> Glad you didn't. You were talking about Glad you didn't. Rowan. You were talking about Rowan. <laughs> um, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Go on then. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean. Johnny Depp. Kira Knightley. Orlando Bloom. So many people in this film. You haven't seen it, gotta see it real quick. This whole film takes place on a pirate ship, yeah. They gotta run through the streets really narrow when it takes place with a pirate called Jack Sparrow. Yeah, I'm Kieran Knightley, I'm gonna pout. And I'm Bill, I'm gonna scream and shout. Got a pirate on my shoulder, I already told her. Gonna steal you all, all your sons and your daughters. Cause I'm trying to find the necklace, trying to lift the curse. Yeah, this curse, it really is the worst. It gets me all funny inside. Can't put food in my stomach. And I cry because I just want to live a normal life because I'm just a pirate living all this trip. Gonna, gonna, gonna save the world. Gonna save Kieran Knightley, that pouty little girl. Yeah. I don't know why I was so fire today. (laughs) Oh, and let's finish with Indiana Jones. You okay with that, Ashley? Yeah, I, I, I familiar. <laughs> huh? Yes, I will go for it. <laughs> oh. Yes, I'm the archaeologist that you know best. Yes, I'm on another quest. Yes, with my head there won't be any room, but I'm gonna get the treasure in that tomb. Yes, I know I like that blonde, but it turned out she came from beyond. Yes, she came from Germany when there was still Nazis. Yes, she went and betrayed me. Yes, I want my family. Yes, my dad, Sean Connery. Yes, he's the one that influenced me. Yes, I'm going to find the treasure. I will get that dope man, no measure. Yes, I'm going to go to the end. I'm going to do it probably alone without a friend. Oh, that was friend, Indy. That was amazing. The, um, the reference to Nazis reminded me of um, that show in Edinburgh where you played a German and compared yourself to a Dalek and it was really amazing. It's one of my favorite shows from Edinburgh. Um, and on that note, <laughs> that's the end of this episode of Netflix DVD Extras. <laughs> oh, thank you, Yoda. Yoda. It's <laughs> like I'm right there as well. Um, <laughs> if you if you missed our amazing, um, oh my goodness, actually, if you missed our amazing costumes last week, the episode, um, our extraterrestrials episode from last week, is still available on our Facebook page. And if you want to receive notifications every time we go live, in fact, just after we finish, you can click the little bell, ding, 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 and then you'll get notified every single time we go live. But if you can't wait till next Monday at seven o'clock here on Facebook, um, there are other ways that you can be part of the gang this week, aren't there, Holly? 
I was being really cool, but I was muted. <laughs> Classic. Uh, if only that happened at the end of my rap. Um, <laughs> every Wednesday, we do this thing called Netflix Film Club, hashtag Not Film Club, where we watch a film that is available to stream on Netflix or other providers. Um, and what we do is at exactly 7.30 p.m. on Wednesday, English Standard Time, you press play, you log on to Twitter using the hashtag, or there's a little bit going on in Facebook, and you live tweet the film along with us. I give all these guys lots of cool little tasks to do. We dress up, and by we, we mean Emily dresses up for all of us. And we have a great time with a lot of little sketches and good films. Amazing. That's absolutely right. Um, and uh, if they don't know where we are on Twitter, where are we on Twitter, Ailish? We are at WFTC Improv. And I believe you can also find us at that on Instagram and follow us on Facebook, which hopefully you already are if you're watching this. You can also sign up for our mailing list, which you can find on our website, which is notflixthemusical.com. That's exactly right. Um, but we are what I should have said while we were talking about film club is that there's a we've got a clue for this week's film as we don't like to reveal it too early. We like to create um, a little bit of suspense, I believe the uh, technical term is. Um, Claire, why don't you give everyone the clue? I would love to. Oh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the clue for this week's Not Film Club is this is an 80s film that we could never forget. Ah, one more time, one more time for the people at the back. This is an 80s film that we could never forget. God, I wish I knew what it was because I can't get it from that clue. Um, uh, and, but if, if there's there's other ways that they can get involved as well, uh, Emma, isn't there? Why don't you talk about The Nun? They can watch a whole, sh whole show, can't they? Sure can. So if you've never seen a whole Netflix show, sorry, we will be on again. But before that, we have Netflix Red Carpet, where we have a whole pre-recorded show of our show, The Nun, the musical, which we did at the Leicester Curve. It was an amazing show. And just for a wee little fiver to our GoFundMe page, we'll send you a link and you can watch the whole thing. There's opera, there's blood, there's singing nuns. What more could you want? We also have another sketch that we just relieved, relieved, relieved released last night it's called hashtag not cribs through the keyhole of lockdown where we do a couple of characters what do they do in knockdown what are they up to are they waiting for a booty call are they trying not to smoke are they looking at a wasp and wondering what it's doing and you can find that on our facebook and also instagram and also youtube that is exactly right. Um, what I will do is post the link here in the comments because I know you're all desperate to watch it. Um, I'll post the link to that. Um, so once again, Twitter on Wednesday, hashtag not film club. And we are at WFTC Improv. Same Twitter, same for Instagram. Follow us here on Facebook if you aren't doing that already. Press the bell to get notifications. And we will see you next Monday here at seven o'clock Facebook Live. And remember, everything is better as a musical.